Hi, my name's Hayley Radke and I'm the Associate Principal Flute in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. The technique I'll be covering is ornamentation. So ornamentation is like decorative flourishes that is used in a broad range of musical styles to embellish and decorate a melody. The three ornamentations I'm going to be talking about today are trills, mordants and turns. So firstly trills. Trills are basically moving rapidly between two notes and they're marked in, in the music with a TR and a squiggly line afterwards, as you can see. So if the trill is written above a G, for example, we trill to the note above G, so G to A. In some musical styles, particularly Baroque and classical music, including Bach and Mozart, we start the trill on the upper note, so on the A. Now, in the lower and middle registers, most of the trill fingerings are self-explanatory because they're just moving from one note to the next and the fingerings are easy. But there are a few exceptions. So, for example, if you're trying to trill between a C and a D, it's going to be very clunky and clumsy to try and use the real fingerings. So, in that case, we use the two trill keys down on the right hand here. The top one is for the low C to D and C sharp to D, and the second one is for the high C to D. One way to practice your trills is to use a scale and trill on every note up the scale so each finger gets a chance to practice a really even trill. Now in the high register, trills become a lot more complicated because the fingerings aren't so straightforward. There's too many trill fingerings for me to go through here today, but there's a really good website that I find is a great resource for all flute fingerings and trills, and it is www.wfg.woodwind.org forward slash flute. And it should have everything there that you need about trill fingerings. Now, the second ornamentation is mordants. Mordants are notated as a short little zigzaggy sign above the note and it's essentially just a small trill just going up and down once between the notes. So for an upper mordant we go to the note above the notated note. So from a G and a lower mordant is notated with the same zigzag sign but with a cross through it and as it suggests, we go to the note below the note that's notated. So from a G, we're going to go down to an F sharp. Make sure you play them quickly and on the beat. Now, the last ornamentation I'm going to talk about is turns. Turns are essentially an upper mordant and a lower mordant played in succession. And they're notated with the S on the sideways sign, as you can see. So if we're starting on a G, what will happen is we'll play a G up to the A, back down to the G, down to the F sharp and back to the G. I'll play it slowly once and then quickly as a turn. So that's turns. Now, all ornamentations should be, should be played quickly and elegantly and quite lightly so they are embellishing the melody rather than interfering with it. Sometimes it might be marked differently in music, but that's a good approach to take in general. Now I'm going to play for you um, the minuet from Bach's Sonata No. 4, and this uses a variety of ornamentation.
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at QSO and happy practicing.